Jeez. He really is as persistent as he says, huh? You guys have been divorced for six months now. No, no, I know. You said your ex-husband was, um, a little obsessed. I was wondering why you needed a bodyguard for this long. Not that I mind. Getting to chill on a cruise is great. Still, we should probably save some of those voicemails for the lawyers, right? Here, yeah, let me listen to some of them. You can have my spare earplugs. I know how... Um, disturbing they can be. Alright, if you don't need them. Here's the most recent one. Ever think that you can leave me? After all I did for you. One little spot and that's it. I hope you know that I'm going to find you, darling. I promise it. And when I do, you are never leaving my sight again. Do you understand? Yeesh. On to the next one, I suppose. Darling. Please, please call me back. We can talk about this, can't we? Our love, our love was so good, so real. Just because I got a little possessive, you kept complaining about how I never spent time with you. And then tried to leave when I asked you to wait just a little longer. I know I could be cold at times, but you have to know I'd do anything, anything, just to feel you. Yeah. I'll see if I can flag down the waiter to get you a stronger drink. Jeez. I feel so bad that I nearly believed him when he said you were the villain at play. Yeah. He never said anything about you directly. Seemed heartbroken and desperate, but, I mean, I've seen worse actors. It was a pretty high-profile case, is all. Wife of billionaire CEO leaves divorce papers and vanishes off the face of the earth. It's quite a headline. Billionaire CEO goes batshit crazy during board meeting and throws into an out window is also a headline. Oh, the intern is fine, don't worry. Surprised a four-story fall like that didn't kill him, but he's set for life. Which intern? Um, Josh, I want to say. <laughs> yeah. Your ex said the same thing. I guess Josh the Intern is a name that lives in infamy for numerous reasons. Driving a limo into a pond is among them. Uh, oh, um, I'm glad you think my laugh is cute. You're really nice, miss. But, uh, maybe you should go for a lie down for a bit. You're looking a bit pale and we're out of sunscreen. Of course I'll walk with you. Don't you worry. I'm with you all the way. Here we are. Let me just swipe the keycard. Freeze, muscle head. Don't make me blow your brains out, okay? I'm just here to talk to my wife. No, I mean current wife, not ex-wife. Oh, darling, I've missed that bladed tongue of yours. I've missed you in your entirety. Oh, it's making me weak in the knees just to see you looking at me again. Haven't you missed me? 
even a little. Aha! I knew it. I knew you still loved me. Angel, it's okay. Come here. We can forget all about this. I even brought this suitcase of money to buy your little boy toy silent. I know you hate it when I kill them. Let's just put all of this past us, love. Won't that be nice? I'd rather fucking die. She deserves to live in peace and find someone that will actually appreciate her. You know, I really do have no issue blowing your brains out, right? I'd relish it. Seeing you drool over her like you ever would be enough for someone like her. Darling, you haven't used the word in three years. Oh, oh. I do love it when you get so violently fired up. Of course I'll come closer to you. Nothing would make me happier. Please sit on the bed for me like you used to. Oh, don't make any funny moves, musclehead. I will shoot you. Oh, please don't look at me like that, my love dreamt of finding you, of you running into my arms while you admit how much you adore me as well. And this is how I find you, huh? Flirting with a pathetic bodyguard and staring me down like I got your damn drink order wrong. Are we children, my dear? Don't you think the silent treatment is somewhat... Immature. I will not play this game with you. Can't you tell how much I adore you? Look at me. Look at me. I'm shaking. Just being in your presence again. You have a power over me that I can't stand. I just can't hurt you. I can't, no matter how much you hurt me. Now, now, darling. I, I didn't mean to trigger that temper of yours. Oh. I do love it. The fire in your eyes. So beautiful. I've missed you. So much. Having to lie in that big empty bed just... Just kills me. <coughs> wow, that was a lot. Been a while since I brained someone with a lamp like that. I cannot believe he got in his face, too. You sure you need a bodyguard? <laughs> True. Admittedly, I am happy to be around you. You are really lovely. Oh, heavens, no. <laughs> I'm not like him, I promise. No creepy, obsessive behavior here. Mm-hmm. I'll get him tied up and handled. If you'd like to go and finish that drink, I wouldn't blame you, darling. Huh? I didn't say anything. Are you feeling okay, miss? Sure, I'll be out in a bit. Don't worry. Thanks for setting the bar so low, Mr. CEO. You've made this a lot easier on me. By making me look so good. Don't worry. I'll take care of her.